Huygens' explanation of double refraction. In this topic, we are going to discuss positive and negative crystals. According to Huygens' wave theory of light, the propagation of light is explained in terms of wave surfaces. Huygens' wave theory and the propagation of light explains in the wave front in the term. You may be hear the term spherical wave front. A point source of light embedded in an isotropic substance such as glass emits spherical wave front. They expand in all directions with the same velocity. Or isotropic substance, for example, a glass block. That is the central number of point light source which is the angle. We point in the direction of light will travel with the same velocity. One point in the direction of the same velocity will travel in the same direction. Then, we have to shape the shape. It will be spherical. Now, we will discuss the isotropic material. But, this material is by refinement material or double refracting crystal, then the case will be different. Because we know that in the case of double refracting crystal, there will be two rays. One is ordinary ray and another is extraordinary ray. O ray and E ray. In this material, two wave surfaces will be formed simultaneously. One due to ORA and another due to ERA. ORA or ordinary ray will travel with the same velocity in all direction. Glass in the case of some and ORA in the case of the point in the other direction, the wave velocity will travel. The wave front will be spherical. Velocity is constant in all direction. Of course, then refractive index will be constant for ORA. That refractive index can be denoted by mu o. Refractive index for ordinary ray. Now consider the case of e ray. E ray travels with a different velocity in different direction, the same crystal. Different direction, different velocity is sanjari kundu kundu thanne. Wave front is spherical, namukila bikila. Pagaram, it will be ellipsoid. Velocity varies in under. So refractive index also varies. And it is denoted by mu e. Now, the difference in refractive index delta mu is equal to mu o minus mu e. The delta mu na bilikin na bairana by refringence magnitude or amount of double refraction. Now, we already discussed that there are two types of wave fronts. Under type wave front will two types uniaxial crystals available on one type in a blick in the positive crystal and other negative crystal. If it left side of the diagram, positive crystal in a represent you know, right side of the diagram, negative crystals in a represent you. Consider this sphere a similar sphere you can see in the case of positive crystal also. There are two spheres in the world. There are two in the world. There are two spheres in the world. There are two spheres in the One for negative crystal and another for positive crystal. Both represent ordinary wave surface. In this diagram, dot represent the ordinary ray. You can see this. This ray. This ray with dots represents ordinary ray. Similarly, this line with dots represents the ordinary ray. At the arrow represent in the extraordinary ray or E ray. Positive crystal in the case of the arrow. Now, the ellipsoid surface represents E wave, extraordinary wave surface. The extraordinary wave front is represented by an ellipsoid. In case of positive crystal, the ellipsoid is inside the sphere. In case of negative crystal, the ellipsoid is outside the sphere. Comparison between positive and negative crystal. In case of positive crystal, E wave front, extraordinary wave front represented by ellipsoid lies within the ordinary wave front represented by the spherical. 
but in the case of negative crystal the spherical wave front of ore is enclosed by ellipsoidal wave front of ere in case of positive crystal ere travels slower than ore in all directions except along the optical axis v is less than v o in the case of negative crystal ore travels slower than ere in all direction except along the optical axis v greater than v o in case of positive crystal and negative crystal parallel to the optical axis velocity v e equal to v o example of positive crystal is quartz crystal calcite crystal is an example for negative crystal in case of positive crystal refractive index is mu e greater than mu o in case of negative crystal mu e is less than mu o delta mu is positive in positive crystal and delta mu is negative in negative crystal now refractive index of ore is defined as mu o is equal to c by v o c represents velocity of light in vacuum divided by velocity of ore in the crystal but in the case of ere there are two different ways to represent refractive index for positive and negative crystal for positive crystal mu e equal to c by v minimum that's equal to velocity of light in vacuum divided by minimum velocity of ere in crystal for negative crystals mu e can be written as c by v max which is equal to velocity of light in vacuum divided by maximum velocity of light of ere in crystal next topic nickel prism is a diagram of a nickel prism it works based on the principle polarization by double refraction it is designed by william nickel and hence the name you can see in the diagram two parts of calcite crystal are joined together with a material canada balsam here refractive index of ere mu e equal to 1.486 mu o equal to 1.66 refractive index of canada balsam equal to 1.55 that means refractive index of canada balsam is greater than refractive index for ere but less than refractive index of ore the ere is isolated from ore by the principle of total internal refraction namukku ariyam total internal refraction endana nammal discuss cheyadana denser mediathil ninnu rarer mediathilotu light travel cheyina samayathu light it will be reflected on the surface of rarer medium ore samanchadathalum adin refractive index 1.66 aanu canada balsam ennu parayna material is a rarer medium for ore but it's a denser medium for ere adu kondu thana ere adilude kadannu povum ore totally internally reflective 